Hi everyone, this is Jay Beeks and welcome to your basic energy science course, SOS 314. I'm looking forward to teaching this class and getting to know all of you. Uh, my other classes uh, that are comparable to this are Global Energy at Franklin Pierce University and a uh, Principles of Sustainability at Merrill Hurst University, also Renewable and Alternative Energy at Denver University along with um, Sustainable Transportation at Denver University. And in addition to that, I created a course called Foundations of Sustainability at St. Francis University. Um, all those courses were graduate courses, so I'm uh, getting immersed now in undergraduate courses at ASU. Uh, that's really the primary focus for me now in the SOS program at, uh, at ASU. So this is one of the courses that I picked up here. And uh, in this class, we've got a combination of discussions, quizzes, and assignments, uh, along with what I think are some very useful uh, practice quizzes for all of you. And, and I've gone through them myself as well. Uh, but they're useful because they help us retain a lot of this information we want to retain that we, that we really need, you know, given the situation that we're in today with uh, global climate change and, and energy changes and that type of thing. So as you know, uh, the text for this course it's an ebook entitled Basic Energy Science, A Citizen's Guide to Energy Choices by the author is Kelman. And then all the other sources we have in this course are uh, provided and they're electronic and uh, uh, along with references, etc. So um, this is a seven module course uh, with topics ranging from coal, natural gas, fracking, nuclear energy, renewable energy, wind and solar, etc., and transportation and our uncomfortable uh, dependence and continued dependence on oil for getting around. Uh, my, my background is related to a lot of these topics. When I uh, first got out of college at the University of Arizona, I had a bachelor's degree in, in mechanical engineering. And I, uh, my first job was at a big power plant in uh, Los Angeles called the Redondo Beach Generating Station. It was an oil and gas plant, 1600 megawatt. And then from there, I went on to the Mojave Generating Station, a large coal plant down in the southern tip of Nevada. It was also 1600 megawatts. Um, I worked as a, as a reliability engineer and uh, as a design engineer and as a performance engineer in all these places. Uh, then transferred over to a nuclear plant and I worked at San Onofre for about five years in the design group. I was a systems design engineer working primarily on uh, heat exchangers, including the uh, pressure vessels at San Onofre. Uh, then transferred up to Trojan and worked on, uh, which is another nuclear plant in Oregon that's now shut down. And I uh, was working on valves and was a maintenance engineer up there. Um, but it's interesting when I think back on this that all these plants I worked at, they're all shut down now. They're all uh, either nuclear or coal or oil and gas. They're all big. Uh, San Onofre was 2,300 megawatts. Uh, Trojan was only about, I believe, 1,100 megawatts. But they were all, you know, large capacity plants and they're all no longer existed. I remember when I got out of college, I was thinking, well, I'm going to work in some power plant or some utility for the rest of my life and it's just going to be, you know, very stable industry. And this turned up turned out to be a totally non-stable industry. So I think that's pretty interesting. But anyway, a lot of my experience other than teaching has been firsthand uh, with dealing with energy, dealing with coal, dealing with oil, dealing with nuclear energy, and really being kind of on the front row seat as a design engineer uh, working with these systems. And, you know, I can tell you from firsthand experience, they're very, very dangerous places to work. Uh, I came within about 60 seconds of being blown up at the Mojave Generating Station. That was a very large accident that uh, was not the demise of uh, Mojave in 1986, but they did eventually shut down in the year 2000, primarily because they were using too much water from the Navajo Generating Station from a Peabody coal mine there that would ship the coal down to Mojave uh, in a slurry form that was 50% water and 50% coal. And the, the Navajos were okay with the coal, but they fi finally reached the point where they weren't going to give up any more water. So that was the demise of uh, Mojave in 2000. So I think it's very interesting that we see that we're making these transitions. Um, on the design side, I've also been working on, uh, uh, as, a, as a consultant with uh, Kleinfelder Engineering, I 
worked as a science and engineering manager on both uh, solar and wind farm development, along with uh, along with uh, deconstruction of dams. So um, definitely been in, in immersed in the renewable energy uh, uh, sector as well, and I'm very excited to see that this is this is happening now. Finally, I mean, I in my life I expected it to be happening in the 80s, but it's now finally happening, and we're in, we're in the year 2020. So I think you're all going to enjoy this course, and I know you will get some valuable information out of it that will serve you well in your lives and in your careers and in your future. And particularly in this time that we have right now, we're dealing with global climate change and, and a, a massive switch to re renewable energy. Um, but as far as uh, I'm concerned, please don't hesitate to reach out and call me or send me an email. And I look forward to seeing you all in class uh, very soon.